Are you getting towards that point in your life where you don't want to shovel snow and you find a little bit of time to yourself? There are many places to consider, like Florida or Arizona. In case you didn't know, the city of sin should be on your list for retirement. Today, we're going to discuss a topic that's been on the minds of many retirees. Should you retire in Las Vegas, Nevada? If you're new to this channel, my name is Eric Hudson, and I'm here to be your guide to living in Las Vegas, from buying and selling homes to what it's like to eat, sleep, and live in the Las Vegas area. If you need to reach out, my information is below and in the information tab. You can call, text, email, or better yet, there's a calendar link below where you can reserve a little bit of my time. One of the big advantages to retiring in Las Vegas is the warm and dry climate. With mild winters and plenty of sunshine, it's a great place for retirees who enjoy outdoor activities. The city is surrounded by beautiful natural landscapes, including the Red Rock Canyon National Conservatory area, Lake Mead National Recreation area, and the Valley of Fire State Park. These areas offer opportunities for hiking, biking, and boating, and they're just a short drive from the city. Another benefit to retiring in Las Vegas is the relatively low cost of living. While it's true some aspects of the city, such as hotels and entertainment, can be expensive, the overall cost of living is below the national average. Housing, groceries, and health care, those costs are relatively affordable, and Nevada is one of the seven states that does not have state income taxes, which, hey, can be a significant benefit to you, especially as a retiree, putting more money in your pockets and increasing your standard of living. Of course, there are some downsides to retiring in Las Vegas. One of the most significant is the summer heat. While warm climate can be a benefit, temperatures can and will exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the summer months. I don't know how much that is in Celsius, which can be uncomfortable for some, uh, many retirees. Additionally, traffic can be heavy and congested especially along the Strip and around major events like the Consumer Electronics Show and the World Series of Poker. This can be frustrating for some retirees who are looking to get a more relaxed pace of life. Trust me, if you want quiet, there's plenty of communities where you can either be as social or antisocial as you want to be. Finally, it's worth considering health concerns. So when you're thinking about retiring to Las Vegas, the air quality of the city uh, can be poor at times, and retirees with respiratory issues may want to consider this before moving to the area. However, it's worth noting that the city does have a number of high-quality medical facilities, including the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health and the Desert Springs Medical Center. Another advantage to retiring in Las Vegas are the entertainment options that are available. Las Vegas is known for its world-class entertainment, including live shows, concerts, and cultural events. There are a variety of museums and galleries, such as the Neon Museum, the Mob Museum, the Bellagio Gallery of Fine Arts, the Smith Center for Performing Arts, host a range of performances, including Broadway shows, concerts, and dance performances. In addition to these cultural offerings, Las Vegas has a vibrant food scene with a wide variety of restaurants and cuisines available. Many of the top chefs in the world have their restaurants here in Las Vegas, making this a food lover's paradise. Another benefit to retiring in Las Vegas is the range of activities available to seniors. Many casinos offer senior discounts and events. There are a variety of clubs and organizations for seniors. For example, the city's Active 50 Plus programs offers fitness classes, social events, and education programs. The city also has a range of senior centers which provide meals, transportation, and activities for seniors. On the other hand, one of the major cons to retiring in Las Vegas is the prevalence of gambling and its associated lifestyle. While there is certainly more to Las Vegas than just gambling, it can be a difficult temptation for some retirees who may be on a fixed income. Additionally, the constant noise and bright lights of the city can be overwhelming for some especially those who are used to a quieter lifestyle. Finally, another factor to consider when 
thinking of retiring to Las Vegas is the city's infrastructure. The city has experienced rapid growth, which has led to some challenges in terms of traffic, public transportation, and affordable housing. While these issues may not be deal breakers for some, they are important to consider when thinking about the long-term viability of this city as a retirement destination. Whether or not you retire to Las Vegas depends on your individual preferences and priorities. If you enjoy warm weather, entertainment, and a relatively low cost of living, it may be the perfect place for you. However, if you're sensitive to heat, crowds, or have health concerns, you may want to consider other options. Ultimately, it's important to do your research. Visit the city, talk to the locals and the retirees to get a sense of whether or not this is the right place for you. And if you want to know more about retiring to the Las Vegas area, I'm here to serve as your resource. If you need to reach out to me, you can call, text, or email. Better yet, get on my calendar that's below. If I've given you just a little bit of value today, please consider supporting me for my hard work and continuing to put these videos out and subscribing if you haven't yet. And of course, hit that bell notification and leave a comment.